Hi everyone and welcome back to Monday's Nail of the Week, my second themed set of nails for October. Stay tuned. Great to see you. Great to be back in doing another Nail of the Week design, another themed look. We have to see this one. This one is awesome. Check it out. Aren't those just awesome and cool? I love them. Now, I love to do a water marble look. I've done many different ways. I've done it with, you know, no water marbling. I've done it with kind of a drag marble. I've done it with uh, Sharpie markers and uh, um, rubbing alcohol. So there's many different ways to do it. But of course, the actual water marble itself, I explained in the video when you see it, it is a little bit harder. So practice that one. That one took me some time myself to learn, but it's just awesome. I mean, look at these. Aren't these amazing? They are just so cool how each one turns out different. I mean, it does when you do any kind of marbling. They all turn out different. But I just love when you actually work with water. I think it is so awesome. They really are cool. I love the way this one turned out. But anyways, before we go on, we're going to go ahead and read our words of Jesus for women. And we are on real friendship. John 15, 15. I no, long, I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. And it goes on to say, Jesus is your friend and you are his. What does that mean on a personal level? A friend cares about what you're dealing with and willingly shares your load. A friend comes alongside you without even being asked. A friend celebrates your victories because she cares. Just as you call your friend and just as you call your best friend to share news, Jesus also shares news with you. He shares everything he learned from his father. He wants you to know how to please God and how to live for him. Jesus loves you so much. How awesome is that? And I like how the word awesome is used here because I used awesome for my nails. Uh, but Jesus is awesome. And I do talk about that a lot, about getting that personal relationship with Jesus. Um, you know, on that personal level with him, you know, spending that quality alone time with him and praying to him. Um, because if anybody's going to be your best friend, it'll be Jesus. Jesus will never leave you nor forsake you. You know, he'll always be there, always leaning on you, always, you know, walking with you like the footprints when that person was going through the hardest time and there was only one set. That's because, you know, Jesus was carrying him during that time. So when you are going through the hardest times, Jesus is definitely there with you. He's with you through the good and the bad. So we need to praise him through the good and the bad. Praise him even in the storm. But that is a true friend right there. And you want to be a friend like that to people. You know, you want to be that type of friend. Be loyal. Be true. You know, like he's saying here, he wants um, us to know um, like what he learned from his father. You know, I want people to learn from me and to grow. You know, I want to follow Jesus. And if somebody wants to follow Jesus as well, I want them to see Jesus through me, the Holy Spirit through me. And I want them to gain that personal relationship with their Lord and Savior who died on the cross for us to save our souls so that we have eternal life. So just gain that, you know, that uh, relationship with Jesus. Definitely spend that quality time alone with him and gain that. I mean, this was, this was a beautiful a Bible verse. And it's very hard to find real friendship. It really is. So to have one come up real friendship, it is. I talk about that in my life, how, you know, finding a real friend is hard to find. But when you do, you know, would you rather have a thousand fake or one real? And I'd rather have one real friend. And I do have some wonderful friends in my life. But the best one I have is my Lord and Savior right up there. He's my best friend and he always will. And I will always seek him out. I will always walk with him. I will always pray with him. I will always talk to him. And I feel him talk to me. I feel he's always there. I feel him hugging me, especially in time of need. I feel him just wrap his arms around me. So gain that personal relationship with him and be the friend that people, you know, want you to be. Be loyal, be true, be kind to everyone. You know, if somebody needs something, help them be there. If you say, you know, you are a true friend and you know your friend's in need, be there, call them, you know, just call your friends. Let them know that, you know, you're thinking of them. I do that once in a while. Just text somebody, hey, I'm thinking about you, you know, and I've got friends that do that for me. So just, you know, be be a good, true friend. Be true to people. That's all we have in our life is to be 
honest and true. You know, that's what we have to go on in life. So be true and honest like Jesus is because that's one person that'll never lie, deceive, leave you, never, um, you know, forsake you. This person that, you know, we call Jesus is the best friend you could possibly have in your whole life. Never, ever, ever stray from him, you know, continue to, to gain that friendship with him, that very personal, personal bond with him. Start your day, go through your day and end your day with the Holy Bible, Life's Manual, the most beautiful book you'll ever read. It'll teach you everything you need to know, and it'll also help you get through hard times in life. This book wasn't written for us to collect dust. It was written for us to read and understand true life and how things work. And when you read it, you'll see, you know, times like this that we're going through was all predicted and is all supposed to happen. So we don't have to fear anything, especially when you're walking with Jesus. Nothing to fear. Because the worst case scenario, we die, we go to heaven. So... That's a much better place than we live here on earth. But this earth is pretty beautiful because God made it beautiful. He sure did a good job and he did it in just six days. So, but anyways, yeah, get on your knees. Start your day and go through your day and end your day. Always, always praying, getting on your knees and thanking God. Did you thank him today for waking you? Woke you up again today and, you know, kept you safe again from this COVID. Be thanking him for all of the blessings. Um, Not just, you know, not just going to him when we need things. Don't just go to him and need. Thank him. Thank him for the things that he does and praise him even in the storm, you know, always, always, always thank him for everything. Even if you lose a loved one's, you know, loved one or something in your life goes wrong, still lean on him and seek him out, but also come to him every day when days are good too. Don't just wait for the bad days. Come to him even on the good days and thank him. You know, Jesus, hey, thank you. Thank you for giving me another day. Thank you for the beautiful sun shining. Just thank you for being in my life and loving me and offering me in kingdom and dying on the cross for me. So I have a place in heaven and for you. Remember that, you guys. Now, let's go on to this design. Another one that I'm doing. Now, I'm going to go over and just explain real quick. I was doing a contest for those uh, polishes. And actually, I'll show them to you real quick again. If you're new to my channel and you're just coming in, I'm um, doing a contest. And I'm giving away these polishes if you guys are able to guess um, my fashion look from just the set of nails I'm doing. You have to do it in this video. You have to guess what my Fashion Friday will be. I'm doing themed looks for October. That could be betrayed as a Halloween costume. Um, I'm doing them um, going back in time, a different time error. I told you all of them are going to be a different time error. Um, but anyways, because I was going to do only three looks, four looks, one of them being down at the pumpkin patch, which will be the following week, a week from now, um, uh, so not this Friday, but next Friday will be my look I do always down at my pumpkin patch. And then I'm going to do two more uh, looks and those will actually be Halloween costume looks. OK, so you have another chance to enter um, because I was only going to do three. And now I'm still doing three because I didn't know there was five Fridays in October. I'm going to do three more themed looks. So this one here, you have a chance to enter again. And um, if a couple people get this one and I'm guessing some people will get this one. Um, if you get this one, I have to go by the times and that it came in and give it to the first person, you know, the, the fastest time to answer that one. But it has to be in this video. Once, you know, you've got today, you've got tomorrow. Um, but once the Tuesday video comes up for the toe design, you can't enter anymore after that because in the toe design, when I show the fashion, uh, I mean the um, shoes, my shoe collection, and I show the last pair of what's going to be in that Fashion Friday, you're going to get it just like that. Just like that, you're going to get it. So, of course, it ends once I open that video. So, you have all through today and all through tomorrow. So, Monday and Tuesday. And then as soon as I open up, well, you have part of Wednesday, too, until I open the toe video. But this is what you win. This is a uh, three-in-one top coat and then a regular top coat and then a beautiful fuchsia pink ice polish. And then this one here that can go separate or on top of this color here. And it's beautiful. It's got different colors shifting in there. It's got gold. It's got pink. It's got bronze. It's beautiful. It's got brown. I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. So this is what you'll win if you get all three, but you have to get all three of what my Fashion Friday look is going to be. And like I said, they're going back into a different time error, going back. So what do you think this, from this set of nails, what fashion I'm going to do? What fashion look am I going to do with this set of nails? So go ahead and start guessing. Write it down in the box. And like I said, if a few of you guess the same thing, then I have to look at the times and give it to the first person. And then, of course, that person has to get the next two in order to win these. So 
Now it's not, you know, it's it's fun. It's not like I'm giving away a, a this fabulous, fabulous gift, but these are the ice polish, a very good polish and some really great, you know, great ones. And everybody always needs top coats and some pretty colors there. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the contest going because it was only supposed to be starting last week when I did my gangster look. Um, but I, I realized that I'm actually going to be doing four looks all together and I was doing it for three. So as long as I got three more left that I'm going to be doing, so you're going to guess in this one next week, we'll, well I should bump myself. Next week is going to be my Halloween look down at the pumpkin patch. So you don't have to guess that one. But it's going to be this one, which is going to be a look that can be betrayed as a Halloween costume, but also could be a fashion look. And then after next week, the last two, you know, um, would be the week before Halloween and the week of Halloween. Those both are going to be Halloween costumes. That really can't be nothing but a Halloween costume. So if you guess this one and those two, you get all three of those, then you will win that prize. And I'll let you know, obviously, who wins. I'll let you know on Halloween um, after you see that, uh, you know. Fashion Friday, then I'll let you know who won. So definitely get involved in this. It's fun. It's, you know, it's it's a nice gift. You know, I'm sorry it's not for the men, but if the men do like polish or they like polish for their wives or their, their uh, you know, better half or whatever, they like that, go ahead and enter in the contest too. Or if you just want to enter and, you know, maybe give it to your mom or something, go ahead and enter for that. I hope a lot, a lot more people will enter this contest because I just think it's fun and I'm doing theme looks for, you know, October that are portrayed more for a Halloween look. But the first two... Like I showed you last week in the gangster one could be just a regular outfit too. And this next one could be a regular outfit as well, but is a themed look that could be a Halloween costume too. So I hope all of you guys are staying safe, happy, and healthy, leaning on Jesus. Always make him your best friend. If you're new to my channel, right there is my subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell underneath it so you're notified of all of my new uploads. Share around my channel so I can grow bigger and bigger and help many people with different things such as fashion, nails, toes. Um, cleaning, ketogenic. I've got a multi-channel here. So if you want to learn some things, I do have my email link down below if you need help with anything. And also shoot me a thumbs up. If you loved those verses, if you love that personal relationship you have with Jesus, if you love your best friends, if you are a best friend to somebody, or if you just love watching me and you love my videos, shoot me a thumbs up. Let's get started on this awesome water marble look. What do you think I'm going to do for my Fashion Friday look? Let's get on to these nails. Everybody take care and God bless. Hi, everyone. So here's what I chose to go with for my second themed set of nails for October. We've got a actual water marble design with some accented flowers, rhinestones, and northern lights. Stay tuned to see how I did this one. Hi everyone and welcome back to Monday's Nail of the Week. Excited to be doing my second set of themed nails for October. I had so much fun doing that gangster look and now we've got another awesome look here that could be portrayed, like I said, as a Halloween look. So go ahead and start guessing when you see the nail art and tell me what you think I'll be doing for my Fashion Friday look. I am excited. I'm going to go over all the supplies here. I'm going to be doing a water marble design. That's right. I'm going to be working in water today. Now, working in water can be a little bit complicated because you have to find polishes that actually go into water. You have to work with, um, you know, actual bottled water so it's filtered. And you just have to make sure that it's like room temperature. There's just a lot of things you need to know when working in water. But I'll go over all of that with you guys. Starting off, I've got the nails done in a beautiful kind of lime neon green. And that's just a simple base coat so that there's no bleed through. You won't see the nail after I dip my nails into the design. But I've just done one coat. And I know you can kind of see through and all that, but don't worry about that because it's all going to be covered with different colors with the water marbling. I just wanted a base color so that there was no um, sheerness. So if I have any opening or anything, you don't see the nail color underneath. So I've done this beautiful lime green, and it'll be one of the colors that I'll be working with, but I'll go over all the colors and show you. So for the base one, I used this one here, the Salon Perfect I got from Walmart. It's a neon pop, and this one is called Honey Do, Honey Don't is the name of this one. And like I said, Walmart for that. Then I'm going to be going from like dark to light. So another lighter one I'm using is this one by Pure Ice. And that one is called Wild Thing. 
This one I got from Walmart as well. Can you see the name there? It's kind of blurry. There we go. All right. Then the next one in line would be this one going a little bit darker now. And this one is the Alley Colors from Dollar Tree. And this one's called Mint. And then the next one in line would be this one here. It's by the uh, Nina Ultra Pro. And this one is called Limelight. And then the next one in line for the darkest color will be this one here by the Revlon. And this one is actually called Posh 571. And then I also will be doing white in the design. And um, the Revlon I got from Walmart and the white Kiss Gel from Dollar Tree. I'll be doing all of those in the water here. I've got a cup of water here. And here is the bottled water. So you want a filtered water and you want it at room temperature. Make sure that's very important. And fill the cup almost to the top so, you know, you don't have to dip your fingers so far down, but you do need to get the whole finger in there. And because you're going to be working in it, you want to use some kind of a barrier. I'm going to use duct tape. Believe it or not, it's the only tape I have at home. I don't have any scotch tape or any clear tape or a barrier. So I'm going to use uh, just this duct tape here. I'll work with it. It'll be fine, and I'll cut it off with scissors when I'm done. I just don't want the big mess. It does make a big mess when you're sticking your finger down inside. It'll get all over the finger and everything. So I'm going to duct tape around. Um, and then... I'm going to be working with acrylic paint, just white here. And I'll be working with Robin's brush here. The wand, RobinMosesNillArt.com is how you order them. I keep saying I have to clean these the ends of them. There's the end. This is her liner and she has a striper. And that's what I'll be doing. The design, it'll be flowers. And then I might be putting a couple of crystals, either the dark or the light. I think I'll be doing the dark ones, I think. We'll see as we go along. Again, you guys would have already seen the front photo of it, what it looks like, um, and how I did it. It's just right now I'm starting the video, so I don't know yet what I'm going to end up with at the end. Um, you'll need a toothpick and a paper towel because after you dip your finger in, you'll see after you dip it in, after the colors are all in there and you make your design, what I'm going to do, then after you dip your finger in, you also need to use the toothpick to clean up the mess around it before you pull your finger out. Make sure you do that because it will completely ruin your design. I'll show you as I go along though. And then a paper towel to the side just to wipe that off. And then of course I'll use uh, the ASP glue to glue down the stones and a orange wood stick. And I think that will be all, oh, duh. I'll be working with a stamping plate as well. I'm going to be doing this one right here, and I believe I'll be working with these images here, these flowers here. I kind of like those. Um, <clears throat> if not, then maybe some of these. I kind of like these as well, so I'm not sure, but this one is from eBay. There's the name, and the plate number I'll be working with is plate number right there. Okay, so I'll be doing that, and I might only be doing one accent now. I'm using the Born Pretty Scraper. I know it's dirty. I got to clean it up. And the Born Pretty Clear Jelly Stamper. Both of these I got off of Wish. So definitely check out Wish. It's a great site. And I think that is everything. So I am going to set up. I'm going to get most of these done and leave a few fingers open to show you since it's a lot of work and everything. And trying to show it on the camera, I keep bumping the cup and it hits the phone um, you know, my camera here, it hits it and I don't want to be messing up the water. You don't want to bump the water because it messes up your design. So I'm going to get a bunch of them done. I will leave a few open to show you. I'll come back in. So just give me a moment, everybody. Okay, check this out. Aren't these awesome? Look at how each one is different and unique in its own way. I love to do marbling. I've taught you guys how to do a no water marble. I've done it with Sharpie markers. I've done it with um, uh, like a drag marble. I've done all different ones you can do. But the water marble is a little bit harder of a technique, but is absolutely gorgeous when you see how each one turns out. Isn't that just amazing? There's the thumb. Every one is just different and unique. Now I left this finger and this one open so I can do two to show you. Hopefully I can show you this in front of the camera because I don't want to bump the camera when I'm doing it. So what I'm going to do is adjust this a little bit. Just one second, I'm gonna to try to raise this up a little bit so I don't be hitting the cup. That's what we don't want is to be knocking the cup. Okay, I'm first gonna tape off. All right, let me grab a piece of tape here. 
All right. And I'm going to stick a piece around the finger like this, right up next to it, and then make sure you close it off. And I'm gonna get another one to go around the other way. And this tape, um, believe it or not, is actually working really good. Okay, just go around. And if you need to, you can untape and just get it lined up a little bit better. You are going to have some cleanup work because you can't ever get tape, you know, to perfectly round with your finger. So don't worry about that. Just get it lined up the best that you can. You're going to have some cleanup work, but it was a lot better than having, yeah, all of the cleanup work. That was hard. Okay, and I'm just trying to be careful because these nails are wet. All right, I've got all the colors laid out. What I'm going to do is... Just go in once into my water here and see if there's any cleanup more that I need to do. There always is going to be little pieces in there, but just clean it off. Then I'm going to start with this darkest color and drip it right in the center. Okay. Then the next one that worked really well was this ice one. So I'm going to put that a drip right in the middle of that. And then you don't want to be too high above the cup either. You kind of want to be close to the water. Then I'm going to go back to this dark one again. And do a drip because you'll see this one will help spread it a little more see it starts to spread then I'm gonna go to the white I'm gonna drip a white in here like I said be very close to the water because you don't want it to fall down into the cup the heaviness of it could make it drop into the cup so get your white in there then I'm just gonna go to this next one I'm not really going in order with colors I'm just kind of having fun with it each one was was different how I lined up the colors. You can line them up how you want, though. And I did want to do kind of a lot of, uh, you know, stopping doing a lot of the white just so it gets in there. So, yeah, just I'm not going in any specific order. You'll see when I do the thumb, I'm not going to go in the same order, except for the first three was the same order. Dark, light, dark. And then we went from there with the colors. Just make sure that you're getting enough, you know, on. And like I said, be close to it so that you can get it in there and not um, have it fall to the bottom. The heaviness of it could make it fall to the bottom. So just keep going till you build your bullseye. That's what you're trying to do, is build a bullseye. And I'm trying to get, like I said, as enough white as I can because you really want the white in there. And just going back and forth with the colors, just getting so many till I build a nice, size bullseye. Norm normally it would spread out completely in the cup and it would be like taking up the entire cup. But these colors, like I said, it's very hard. Certain colors just don't want to spread. So, all right, right there. I'm going to stop right there. That's a pretty decent uh, bullseye right there. And what I'm going to do is take my, very carefully, take my toothpick and just anchor this color that's in there because that first color did spread to the outside. So anchor it, okay? Then just go in the center and whatever you want. I'm just going to swirl this around with this toothpick very, very lightly, though. You want a very, very light touch when you're doing this, okay? You don't want to get that toothpick way down inside the water. You want that on the very tip, all right? Then we're just going to stick our finger. Keep your uh, toothpick with you because you don't want to pull out. Once you put this in, you want to keep your finger in. Let me draw in just a little bit more so you can see. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, just pick a spot that you like. I think I kind of like it. You can kind of turn the cup, whatever. Just be very careful. If you do turn the cup, it moves. Just be very careful. But okay, I'm just going to dip all the way in, go all the way in, and then take your toothpick and start cleaning up the you know, the um, polish all around. You do not want to pull your finger up until this polish is pretty much taken off the surface of the water there. So go to all around the sides. I hope you can see this good. Okay, go all around the sides. And just don't bump your finger with the toothpick. Don't bump the sidewalls with your toothpick of the cup. Just be very, very careful. It's, yeah, like I said, this is more complicated for water marbling. This one took me time practicing to learn how to do this one. Then I'm just going to wipe off my toothpick on this paper towel I have over here. And just go back in, make sure I've got pretty much all the surface done. It's dried. It's got a lot of the surface there. And hopefully we'll have luck the first time on each one because some of them I had to redo. All right, now I'm going to slowly pull out. And there you go. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. I love how each one turns out different. All right, then right away I'm going to go ahead and pull the tape off. Okay, we'll start with this piece here. All right. Whoops. <laughs> 
Just be careful. Don't throw that away. Okay, and then I'm going to get my small scissors here. And like I said, I'm just being careful because my other nails are wet. And I'm just going to get these small little nipper scissors and cut open this tape here so it's easier just to go around. And then I'm just going to grab a little hold of it like that and just pull it off very, very carefully. Now you see there is some cleanup work. So we're going to go ahead and show you that. Hang on one second. I got stuck here. Oh, I hope this didn't ruin the snap. No, nope. okay. Hang on one sec, guys. I'll just get this thrown away so it's not ruining my other nails. We're still good. Still good. Okay. All right, so now let's do the cleanup. And you want to do that right away, so put the cup aside. And I've got some acetone here, and then we'll go on to the next one. Got some acetone here, and we're just going to dip off and just start cleaning up around the nail right away. You just want to do it while everything's still wet because it cleans the polish quicker. So... Anywhere you can see any spots, just clean it up quick. Go up underneath the nail and clean that too. It's going to get behind the nail. Don't worry, you'll have some left behind. That's okay. That just makes the nail even more unique and pretty. All right, so then just go around very slowly with a cleanup brush, a nice fine cleanup brush. And don't worry if it, whoops, I'm not even showing you guys. I'm having a hard time keeping it on here and showing you. See how I'm, I'm touching the nail too? That's okay. Just be careful not to really get in there and do that. Okay. Keep, you know, dipping in and wiping off and dipping in and wiping off because you don't want too much of this because it'll spread into your design. So just be careful when you're doing the cleanup. Let me get a little bit closer here for you. Okay. And then just get closer to your design now. Wow, that one is cool. I can't pick which one I like the best. I don't know. This pinky one over here was pretty cool. The pinky one. That one was pretty awesome. But now I really like this one. I don't know. They're all just so unique in their own way. You don't know what you're going to get till you pull it out. You just don't. And there's different ways to marble. Like people have done like flower designs in the water. Um, made it look like a big flower. Um, they've done like spider webs. You know. Uh, just different ways. I just kind of moved my toothpick around. I wanted that for this look here. Just moving it around and just getting any design that I came out with where the color was just all swirled and having fun with this one. Okay, so we just want it completely clean before we go on to the next one. It's But yeah, yesterday when I did this, when I was playing around with it, I didn't have the tape and no barrier. And man, that was a lot of cleanup work. This is much, much easier having the tape because it's not as much to do. But just be patient and, you know, do a nice cleanup job. You will definitely need to use some uh, cuticle oil after the design is all dry and everything because, you know, you're using a lot of acetone here. So you want to put some cuticle oil on so it looks good. You know, just looks nice on the nails because they get dried. All right, there we go. That one's done. All right, so let me just get set up and ready to do the thumb. I'll be right back. Okay, we're ready. And I was wondering what is going on, why I was getting so wet right here. I do have a towel down too. I had to get another cup. Like I said, if it drips down to the bottom, the polish, now this is a fresh cup. You're just seeing that because of the stuff underneath this is a fresh cup. It actually made a hole in my cup because it was eating away at it. The polish was eating away. So yeah, be careful of that so it doesn't drip down. Watch that. But that's why I have such a mess. I'm like, I've been working with water this whole time and nothing was dripping. What is going on? And then I figured it out. My cup like was almost empty. <laughs> So, all right, so again, we're going to go ahead and go with that darkest one. All right, then go to the lighter one, because those two seem to spread really quick. And then back to the dark one again, right in the center. And then I'm going to go to the white. We're going to build our bullseye. Okay, sometimes it takes a little bit for the polish to come off. But just keep building up your bullseye. And like I said, I'm not doing it in any order. You can do it in your order you want. I'm just doing it in my order where I'm just going with whatever happens, you know. Whatever colors I'm grabbing, I'm just going in a certain order that, you know, so each one is a little bit different. And you kind of want to try to keep it as a bullseye. If it messes up like that, it's still okay because of the design I'm doing. I'm just kind of spreading the colors. So we're okay, but if you were doing like a flower or something, you definitely would want to keep that bullseye as perfect as you could. So, 
but I don't have to worry about that because I'm going to be spreading the color and just having fun with it. Do a couple more drips here. I'll polish. I'm going to get a little bit more white there. Okay. And then we'll do another dark. And then I want one more white, believe it or not, I do. Whoops. Don't worry, that went over to the side. Okay, now I'm going to grab my toothpick. We're going to anchor it. Be very careful, though, because it's going to ruin your design. So anchor very carefully, okay? Now, the design, very lightly. Just play around with it, whatever you want. Like I said, some people actually make a design out of it. They do a flower, whatever. I'm being very, very careful, and I need to make this one a little bit bigger because it's going on the thumb. So, but look at that, you guys. Look at the coolness of that. Oh, my gosh, it's going to look awesome if it works out. Let's cross our fingers that this one will work out, too, and I won't have to start over. All right, I'm just going to go this way with the thumb. I like right there. And to an angle. You want to go at an angle when you go in. So at an angle and go in. All the way in. Make sure your finger is all the way in. Then we're going to clean up this mess. I hope you can see all of this on. Oh, you probably can't really see. All right, so we're just going to go all the way around and clean up the mess because there's a mess on top and you don't want to ruin your nail. You always got to get the surface polish off and don't pull your nail out till it's clean. Otherwise, yeah, it does not look good. I made that mistake the first time I ever did this. I had to start watching some videos because I had heard about water marbling, drop it in the water. I was just doing that, but I hadn't watched any videos. Didn't realize that you cannot just pull the finger out without cleaning the surface off. So I'm going to go back in and clean it a little bit more. And I think we're good there. And we're going to go ahead and slowly pull out. Do it slow. Look at that one. Oh, my gosh. We had luck this time because I had a couple off, you know, off the camera that were not working. So we'll put the water to the side. And we'll go ahead and pull off the tape here. Just that first layer. Just be careful when you're pulling because everything's wet. Okay. I'm going to throw that one away. And, of course, it's stuck to my finger, so just give me a second here. All right. And then get my little nipper scissors. And, again, just get up under it and get it cut across so that you can just easily take this off. Just be careful not to cut yourself because we're pretty close to the skin here. But these are angled scissors, so it would be easier to use an angled one. See, these are angled. So that's what you want is an angled pair of scissors. Okay. And then I'm just going to grab hold of it right there. And grab hold right there and just pull it off. I just don't want to get any of this paint on me anywhere else. Okay. We'll go like that and throw that away. Okay. And then let's do our cleanup work again. All right. So I got the acetone in there. And just start cleaning your thumb with all the mess here. But again, had I not had any tape, we would have had a whole horrible horrible mess because like i said yesterday i was playing around and yeah without tape it was a big mess it still is possible i just use cotton balls and stuff like that to clean it but yeah it wasn't fun and i'm kind of getting close to the surface here so what i'm going to do here is just kind of pull my polish into the corners here so i can you know make sure that it's getting paint in that area that I was wiping off just very lightly you know just be careful and do it lightly so that you're getting polish in there um in that area because like, well I got to wipe this brush off you don't want nothing on this brush because it's going to eat the acetone and then just drag it down into the corner here okay don't worry because this is a marble design so it can have that little bit of mess up okay then I'll just go very lightly into the corner and clean that out. All right. Hopefully you could see that. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't looking at the camera. All right. And then up underneath again to clean. Just be careful. You don't want to ruin your design. So just be gentle with this when you're doing it. And don't worry about the polish underneath. Like, you know, I'm getting some of it out, but you can have some under it. it just make the nail look even cooler. And I'm just going to kind of lightly on the side go like that and pull this to the top because it was kind of thick. So I just want to get some of that off there. That's fine. Just like that. So, all right. I'm going to finish off the camera. Finish just getting this cleaned up because it's just a little easier. I keep, I just want to make sure that I was in frame. But I'm going to get this one cleaned up 
and then we'll go on to the next step. I will return. Okay, I came in real quick because I just want to show you once you top coat it, how cool it looks. So I've got these three top coated and the one next to it isn't. Look at the difference. See how it smooths everything down? So I'm just going to show you that quick. So I'll draw in. I'm going to get a nice thing of it. Before I do anything else, I just wanted to top coat them just to dry them up so I don't bump them and ruin them. But watch when you go over it. It just smooths everything down and it just makes the design so cool looking. And I've showed you guys that before when I've done sponging, when I've done, you know, different things, how it just, how the, it all comes together when you add that top coat. It's just really awesome. And make sure you cap all the ends and everything like that. But look at the difference now. Aren't they cool looking? Oh my gosh, I love this set. I really do. All right, I'm going to finish up. Then we're going to go on to the stamping. I will return. Okay, got everything all nice and cleaned up, and I am going on to doing the stamping. I am only going to do it on one finger, but I got that beautiful flower right there. Isn't that cool looking? So pretty. I love it. Looks great. I want to leave all the rest, though. I don't want to cover the beautiful design up, but I did want to do one with the flower to, you know, represent what next theme I am doing. So along with the... um marbling like that the white flower will actually go with the outfit as well okay so now i'm going to get set up here got water coming through because that towel underneath is still a little bit wet but this is the plate i'm using and i am going with these flowers right there so we'll draw in here and i ain't going to be working with any acrylic paint i said acrylic paint in the beginning i meant the white here i'm using the white paint and i just need one flower so i'm just going to do one and i will have to take off some so I'll just go like that and then grab my stamper and just pick up that one flower. And then I am going to go around. That was a great pickup. And just take all this stuff off with my stamper here. Or scraper, I'm sorry. Just go around very gently and just pick up all the little pieces like that, you know. So you get them out of the way for doing just the one flower. I just want one flower. So, okay, and some of it's not cleaning up, so I'll use my lint roller here. See if that helps a little bit better for the edges there. Yeah, that actually worked a little bit better. Okay, and now we'll go over to this finger here, and we're just going to put it over into this corner right here, set it down, and roll it just right there. Just so both of them have a white flower, which is going to help um, when you see the design, I'm sorry, when you see the fashion, you'll understand why I did the flower. All right. Now, I am going to add a crystal into it. I'm going to add one of these ones. These are Sawaski crystals instead of these smaller ones I was talking about. I'm actually going to do this beautiful deep green one here, and it is bigger than these ones. As you see the size, I'm going to add one in because these flowers were a little bit bigger. So I'm going to add one of these. I'll get one done and I'll come back and show you guys. Yeah, it's just coming through the water from before. Be right back. Okay, now I have got that one green stone in there. Isn't that pretty? All right, so there's the stones. Here's a little bit of glue in this cap here. I'm just going to take the orange wood stick and just dip in. We'll draw in. Just dip into the glue there, hard to see, and I'm just going to put a little dab of glue right into the center there. Then take a Q-tip, get it a little bit wet, and then just pick up the stone and set it right in the center there. And then I'm going to use the orange wood stick to push it down, just like that. But like I said, I didn't want to cover up this beautiful design doing every finger because I knew that it would cover up all this gorgeous marbling that I did from the water. And I just didn't want to cover it up because you see it kind of starts to cover it up when you put the flower over that, if you see that. But I did an open flower. But I thought I need at least one flower because of the look that I'm shooting for for this, you know, for October look, the themed look. And hopefully you guys will get this one. This one might be a little easier for you guys to figure out. All right. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do... Um, a Northern Lights. I'm going to do the one I made, the gold one. You shake this up and it's a micro glitter and you shake it up really, really good. So I'll show you. I'll shake it up and I'll show you what it looks like. Shook up. And I want to do it on every finger so that um, it gets that little bit of a micro glitter in there just to give it a little bit of sparkle, which I think would look absolutely beautiful. But you just got to make sure you shake these up really good because the this is the original Northern Lights is this one here, and they do sell it in gold too. This is the silver version. This is from Sally's, 
and you see it says shake it up because it all settles to the bottom it's a top coat and so it's clear with all this micro glitter in there and this is the silver version they do make a gold version but not at my sally's you'd have to order it online so i decided one day to make it and look at that bam got my own northern lights done in the gold version so i'm going to add that over every nail and get it nice and sparkly because i do like to have some sparkle i will return and just show you guys one Okay, so I was recording the gold Northern Lights putting it on, showing you guys, but I guess it didn't record it. I guess I didn't hit it. Um, but anyways, I've got the beautiful Northern Lights on there. And then I noticed, if you see the, the two fingers, the white really kind of got blocked out, so it's hard to see the flower. So I took some acrylic paint and, and outlined it. I'm just going to show you how I'm doing that. Just took this small brush and some acrylic white paint and a cap here and just put a little bit on the end of it and just went around and just outlined them. Just make sure you don't have too much paint on here when you do it. So I'm just gonna outline these right here and just so that they are brighter and bolder. And then I'll be going over that with um, the, you know, the top coat, the sesh feet. So you're just gonna follow along and just, you know, make these brighter so you can see them. Oops, better be in frame here. Just go around and just fill them in so that you get the look of this beautiful flower and get to see it better because yeah, I was kind of taking it away when I added that glitter coat on the top. It really kind of, I think because of the gold inside of it, it really took it away. So just follow around pretty easy. Just follow your lines and you got that beautiful outline of that flower. Okay, when these both dry, I am going to add a top coat on it of the Sesh Feet Dry Fast. This one here, this one I get from you can get it from Sally's, uh, Amazon, or um, Walmart, I believe. I get it from Amazon. I buy a big bottle of it because it's a lot cheaper. So I'm going to top coat all of these with that, and I will be done pretty soon here, and then I'll come in and show you guys the end product of these gorgeous, gorgeous marbled nails. All righty, everyone. I am all done, and I am just loving the way these greens marbled in the water. Aren't they just phenomenal? I just think this design is so awesome. I love the little white flowers with the crystals. Love the micro glitter, the Northern Light Gold Glitter over it. But I just love how each finger turned out unique and different in its own way. I just think these are awesome. So awesome. And I'm excited to start reading the comments of what you guys chose, what you think the Fashion Friday is going to be, since I'm going to go ahead and still give away a gift since I was planning to only do three looks and I'll be doing four all together. So I got three more left. So this one and then my next one, like I said, would be down at the pumpkin patch and then two more of the Halloween looks, which will be actual Halloween costumes. So if you get all three of those, except for the Halloween patch one, you guys will win those polishes. So definitely uh, take a guess. What do you think I'll be doing for my Fashion Friday look? Everybody take care, God bless, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload.